Uh, with Fields though, I feel like I feel like he's done in Chicago. It felt that way. Like if you just don't want to see it Chicago stuff or see yeah. NFL stuff, just delete the app. Right. Not delete the app specifically or unfollow. Deactivate your account. Yep. Something like that. Yep. Yeah, you went out of your way to unfollow. And here's the other thing too: the Bears yes. aren't talking about. Fields versus Williams, uh, or what are they doing with the number the one overall pick? Is, yeah, yeah, the NFL yeah. is, but yeah, the Bears are just put going to be putting out cookie yeah. cutter like PC type of uh-huh. content. They're not, they're, they're not talk about, building into the drama. Hey, the top five. It's more of the Chicago the blogs the and stuff, the Chicago the Bears backs. fan accounts that yeah. are doing that. Nope. So yeah, I think maybe he just realizes, yeah, yeah, I'm done. Or or is he trying to send a message to the Bears and say like, hey, like, can you let me know what's happening here? I think both things could be true. I think to an extent he is frustrated with it because this is probably the first time in his life, man, from a playing standpoint, that there's a debate about if he's good enough. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. This cat went to Ohio State and was he went the to Georgia man. first. Right? Oh, excuse me, went to Georgia first. So that means he was the man coming out of high school. Then from Georgia goes to Ohio State, becomes the man even more so there. Top pick, man in the draft. Chicago, you the man the first couple of years. They firing coaches and saying, is everybody else but you? And now the debate is, are you good enough to be here going forward? So to an extent, I'm sure his pride is hurt. I'm sure that ego taking a little bit of a hit and you pissed off because when you open up that app, you know the algorithm is going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to feed you all that nonsense. And for him, yeah, you and your feelings about it. So you react. He's younger. And we got to understand that, too. Younger players react differently than the older guys back then. So for him, his immediate response is, I'm pissed off. NFL, you get nothing to follow, but you know what? F the Bears, too. But it's all good until now I'm on camera and I'm getting asked about it, and now I really have to give you an answer. So my answer is, yeah. Play it off I need good. to see it all. Play yeah. it off very I good. wanted it all to be gone. But like you said, D, the Bears' account is not about to be putting up there that type of stuff. That'd be no different than Pittsburgh. You don't think the Steelers' main account, they ain't saying anything quarterback-related or anything negative quarterback-related. That's every account but the team's account. Yeah. They ain't doing that because that's the investment. That's the asset. If anything, they're going to drop a highlight tape. Hey, man, oh, Kenny Pickett throws over 20 yards. Right. Like, they'll do that before they, they holler about somebody else. But he's young. He's in his feelings, and it happens. That's the, the tough part we talk about, business versus taking it personal. He's taking it personal. Use his motivation, but at the same time, understand that this is business, and you did open the door with your inconsistent play. So you can't make it a, oh, y'all are saying F me, when essentially you said F them with your inconsistent play after they took you in the first round. They drafted you so they wouldn't have to talk about quarterbacks for the next 10 years. Not on purpose, but... <laughs> but either way, but, but yeah. in terms of just the, when we get down to the nut and bolts of it, it's like... It's cause and effect. They took you in the first because they thought you were going to come here and do this and this from here on out, and we have everything set. You're rocky to start for whatever the variables are. So with that being the case, now they got to come back and have this conversation again. And he just ain't ready for that convo. He's in his feelings about it, and rightfully so, but that's the NFL. I mean, it really just comes down to the Bears having the number one overall pick. If they hadn't fleeced right. the Bears last year, then, then it's a they combo. probably are sticking with yeah. Fields. Even if that pan, if, let's say the Panthers, they still make the trade, but the Panthers totally are a little combo. bit better, and the Bears are picking right. like at ten or eleven. It's a totally different combo. They're probably still sticking with Fields. But when you're picking, it's just the worst you're picking worst case scenario one overall happened. with Caleb Williams coming out, who they're saying, okay, if not Caleb, then it's Drake. But one of these dudes got to be the guy. That's a tough one, and especially when you're sitting here like, okay, this is the they decision. They get to reset the rookie contract yeah. and all that this, stuff. This, this, this is the one right here, man. How are we going to react to this one? And you can still get something for mm-hmm. Fields. Man. It's not like it's a complete wasted asset. You're probably going to get a decent man. draft pick. Because I'm sure if you're Chicago, you're like, bro, Fields is good. He still has talent. Like It's a lot of un- like realized potential with him that has everything that you would want if he was coming out in this year's class. And that's kind of how you do the argument with yourself. If you're the Bears, if he was coming out right now, do we like him more than these players right here? Where are we having rated at? All right. Now we have him rated higher than this guy. Okay. Now when we factor in what it would cost or what we're potentially going to have to pay him in the next year versus what we're going to pay this guy, does it also, is it still worth that? 
And that's why the convos are what they are. Because you can make a legitimate case that having to bump up to the 25 mil that's going to be, you know, the fifth year option for Justin Fields, he's not $25 million better than Caleb Williams or Drake May. And if that's truly how you feel, then you go ahead and bring in a Drake May or a Caleb Williams. But if you feel like he can and he will be long term and in this interim, then yeah, you go ahead and keep him. You stick with the 25 and you say, all right, we'll make it work. But that's a tough decision because somebody will get fired if you're wrong. Somebody definitely will get fired if you're wrong. That's a fact.